Morning traders, and uh, this is your DAX daily review. Uh, so we're starting off on the monthly, just ignore this long red candle. It was a red candle, but it pretty much was uh, in this close in this area here. Uh, this is incorrect data. But um, uh, why I'm starting off on the monthly is we have a crossover here. We have an inside bar. It's pretty much off a level. There's my inside tail okay and that's pretty much where we got to and then we move down to form its inside bar okay this is a bearish signal what I'm looking for is a break below this previous open of the previous month which is 11.612 okay um, it is also pretty much sticking to the trend line Okay, and now here's, here's a signal of um, of hindsight being a perfect science. That was a monthly level. We had a diagonal there. That was definitely an area of interest for the sellers. Okay, and uh, even though the Dow was up and down, I mean the, the DAX was up and down, it's still pretty much um, an area where we should have had a, a trade on for the month. Okay, that would have been a... almost 700 point to trade at the moment for the month but anyway it just shows you when you're looking at the lower time frames that it, uh, it does stress you out a bit so uh, what is what does this mean I think to me from a monthly perspective I am anticipating a break below 11.612 if we do get that then the second move is on and it won't happen in a straight line but uh, definitely from a, a longer term a longer time frame you're looking at a target here of nine five two six and that would also be pretty close to this head and shoulders that uh, still hasn't played out Okay, there's the head and shoulders target. And oh, so that nine, you know, I'd actually round that off to nine, nine, eight. So my target, actual target here is 9,800. Okay. Anyway, um, let's not dwell on that. That's the monthly. Now you can see we got. I'm going to use why well, we need to use that level in, but you can see we pretty much closed on the low here. Okay, so like I said to you, you know, if we did get below this level, you cup and handle to head and shoulders, it doesn't matter which way you look at it, it is a massive, massive pattern. And if a break, break below 11,850 is what's going to to drive this okay and look what will happen we've got a gap down and we've got a massive uh, red bar okay this now is an island reversal as well so you can see here's a gap and then we gap down and we've closed so it's a daily island reversal as well as a head and shoulders so for me this move here Is the move you need to pay attention to so we're looking for 11 to 40 okay so let's just get down to some lower time frames and obviously what we want to do now is we want to be short but we don't want to be short on a level on a, a support level we want to be short of a resistance level so I don't think we're going to get that gap close. Not just yet. I think um, the the higher probability is this um, island reversal. So I'm going to use these two levels here. So the high and the low of Friday 
that is the area that I'm looking at at the moment. And um, a break below, well, actually not even the high. Well, that's, yeah, sorry, on the high. Not a fractional yet, it's only one bar. We're looking for another bar than that. Another lower close, that'll be a fractional. But I'm looking for a break below 11... 11.660. Okay, if I look at what's going on at the moment, so Asia's ever so slightly down, but um, the US futures, I mean NASDAQ futures is down 0.7%, S&P futures is down half a percent, and the Dow futures is down half a percent. So obviously the DAX futures is right now down 0.4%. So 11.653 is where we are right now. Okay, which is just below the lower Friday. Okay, so I'm still looking for longs. Oh, sorry, look, let's rewind that. Um, still looking for shorts, but I'm looking for a little bit of a, a bounce. Don't think it's going to happen. If we do get a gap down below 11,660, it's well worth taking the, the short and stop above this fractal here of 11.741. Okay, so you're looking, you can actually fine tune it to this fractal here as well. But the only concern is that you've got, was this deviation from uh, for the moving averages, but look at the two stochastics. One has stayed low, one is going up to cross. So remember when they cross far apart, it is another signal that you need to pay attention to as well. Okay, so I'm looking for shorts. Uh, this level up here is fairly significant that broke. So this 11811 is fairly significant, right? So what I'm looking for is any kind of bounce for a short and that would be a decent area for a stop. So 11.741 will be a decent area for a stop. And the nice thing about this at the moment is it's only a 72 point risk. Okay, so breaking of this fractal, I'm looking for short. Uh, if we do break above this, then I would be a little bit cautious and wait to see what happens see if we can come back to test the level I'm not going to close the gap but to come back and test the level here of 11 8 11 and then that would be my next area to look at okay but any break below the low of friday is definitely going to be seen as, as bearish and uh, that's the way i'll be trading it okay so i'm looking for shorts we'd like to see a bit of a bounce back up but um, no guarantee that we're going to get that. And we'll have to wait and see what happens in the first hour of trading and then take a trade from there. But if we do stop breaking below 11,670, that's going to give me my confidence that I'm looking for anyway. And uh, stop will be up here and then I'll drag it down on every half hour fractional. Okay. Um, so what's typical with island reversals is... Um, they are, they typically do play out, sometimes pretty violently as well. So I think um, that is pretty much the setup at the moment is probably more shorts for the month, or at least the week. And then we'll have to wait and see um, if we do get some kind of support. If price does find some support and start building a base, then uh, we can start looking at a change of direction. But as it stands now, the trend is down, and I suspect it's going to be down for all. The remainder of the week as well okay anyway guys that's it for me today hope that helps and i'll catch you later cheers for now